think I'm crazy to be engaged to someone I've only known for six months. Hey, it's almost too good to be true. You can't go on. Michael, this is David. Good to finally meet you. Mrs. Cutter, how are you? Did you happen to see America's Most Wanted last night? has an obsessive need to be at the head of a family. And imagine a kind of family, more of a 1950s family. He finds these vulnerable women, either they're widowed or divorced, and they have kids. And he wants to kind of come into that family and take over. Mr. Michael, your return makes us complete. Family is the most important thing. You think it's a good idea they're so passionate at their age. She's a good influence on Michael. She's in school. It seems like she's rushing into things. And give it a chance, you know? Or you do something stupid. Like what? Getting sent back to military school. He's been away at military school for um, upwards of a year. And when he sees David has sort of made a home for himself in, in his old home, it, it, it's just it's very strange for him. It's unsettling. We're going to put this family back together, you and me, father and son. Step. Father. Stepfather. I don't like this guy. I don't trust him. I mean, what do you know about this guy? Uh, not, not any more than you. Your mom says you don't want to see him. No, Dad, you know, I'm not the one who left. You're just a little freaked out that your mom's marrying a stranger. I think women have always been vulnerable to a man paying attention to them, particularly divorced, particularly once you get older. It's, it's a very vulnerable place to be. How much do you really know about David? You know what I want to do? I want to go to Vegas and have one of those 10 minute weddings. I've missed family dinners like this. You've missed them, does that mean uh, you were married before? David lost his wife and daughter in an accident. Yeah, a drunk driver. She just opens her arms and, and invites him into her life with her children. And what a mistake that becomes. John, turn that down now! What is that? Turn it down. I saw on TV this woman who drove off a bridge with her three kids in the back seat. They all drowned. Maybe they disappointed her. Penn's character, Michael, has a lot of suspicions about the stepfather. He's intuitive, in a sense, but he's also privy to a few awkward things, a few, a few comments. And he's starting to catch on. Not necessarily that he's a killer, but that something's off. What's going on? The old woman across the street, she fell down her stairs and broke her neck, the woman with the cats. How does he know that she broke her neck falling down the stairs? How does he know that the mailman never said anything about that? I heard the whole conversation, I swear. The audience is always in the know, and the characters are just sort of like, they're flying by the seat of their pants, you know? Um, and Michael, in that sense, is kind of like the audience's eyes and ears. He's seeing the most, he's hearing the most. Penn's the guy who's the outsider to this family. He's the guy who com comes back and you can see from the outside something that these guys can't see. We sense in him the chance for this family to survive. Michael is their chance, because Michael's the only guy who, who might actually get to the truth and, and expose this guy before he becomes murderous once again. You got a minute, kind of looks like him. Could be anybody. Look, this is Grady Edwards. Police couldn't match his ID, they couldn't trace any fingerprints, and there are similarities. He's hiding something. It doesn't mean he's a killer. Have a great day. Hey, you ever lay a hand on one of my kids again? I was just trying to show him a little discipline. What do you even know about this guy? We know that the Harding family is living with a ticking time bomb. So it's not a question of you know, if it's going to go off. The question is when. Hey, look, I told Michael that I would do some checking on you. And to be honest, I'd like some answers. You hear me? Yep. <laughs> That's the key, is, is we're watching and, and we know as, as things are unfolding that this family, like every other family, is full of its quirks and problems. And we also know uh, how intolerant he is of that.
up tomorrow. What's up, Michael? Look like you've seen a ghost. It's just fascinating to, to watch a guy go through this sort of chameleon-like uh, lifestyle, trying as hard as he can to, to be somebody that, that he can't be. We're not even sure what his real name is in this film. He's that guy that lives across the street that you don't really know much about. What are you doing? I'm gonna find out what's in those storage cabinets. 